lightweight championship fight between Nate Diaz and Gilbert Dorino Burns. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it, just a few minutes away. Lightweight scrap. Diaz is one year his senior. He will have a five inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton for Lorda, presenting the challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Nate Diaz! You've been my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Great punch. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Just flips the guard, lands the right hand. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just unable to quite find that range. Right hand punches the clinch. Left hand punches the clinch. Right under the elbow. Body kick clinch. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but a takedown attempt. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, nice. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, and there's the tap. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still. So he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target is on his back. Every challenger is the very best in the world. He turns back at every step. He remains.